Hey guys, it's Theodore, and before I start this video, I want to let you know that there's an actionable worksheet PDF in the description below that can help you apply the concepts that you learn in this video. There's actually a PDF for every video in Practical Growth Academy. Anyways, there's also a link to get my top 10 favorite books because a lot of people have been emailing me lately about them. So go ahead and check them out. Now, The Compound Effect is a great book when getting started into self-development because it lays the foundation for understanding how your small choices can end up making very large impacts on your life. So the first big idea I want to talk about is something he calls the magic penny. In the book, Darren Hardy explains the idea of compound interest using the magic penny idea. The basic idea is that when looking at these two options, which one looks more attractive? $3 million right now, or a penny that doubles in value every day for 31 days? You might have heard this before, and if you haven't, you probably would have picked the $3 million just because you don't know the power of compounding interest. After 31 days, the penny choice is now worth $5.3 million, almost double the first option. We can compare this growth to ourselves. For example, let's say you eat a small chocolate bar every morning for around three years. If the chocolate bar is around 125 calories and you do nothing extra to your diet or your exercise program, you would gain an extra 39 pounds in those three years because 125 calories times 365 days times three years, and then you take that and you divide it by 3,500 calories per pound, you get 39 pounds. Now it's really crazy to think about it, but this principle is at play in every minute of our lives. Imagine if you read a small 10 pages a day for three years, what would that be? That's around 43 books in three years by only reading 10 pages a day, and that is life-changing. In fact, some experts say that the minimum amount of books to read to become more knowledgeable on a topic, more than 90% of the general public, is just four books. After reading 43 books, you'll be ranking with the experts in less than three years. Now, the problem, though, is that because it's easy to do, it means it's also easy not to do, right? So the next big idea I want to talk about is about owning one 100%. Now this is kind of a paradox. Since these small daily choices are easy to do, they're also easy to skip. Hey, I'll read 10 pages tonight. I'll work out tomorrow morning and burn off this donut. I'll get that project done next week. We say stuff like this all the time. Our brain overestimates how long small tasks will take, and because of this, we will procrastinate and put it off. Darren, the author, says we're all self-made men and women, but only the successful people take credit for it. If you're dead broke with no friends, it takes a lot of character to say, I'm here because of my choices and the decisions that I've made up to this point. Well, when you have the humility to actually admit that and say, since I've got here, I can get myself out of this hole, then you can start to get back on the right track that you were aiming for. Once you own 100% of your responsibility and your situation, you can start to understand that you have more control of your life than you actually think, and your decisions will matter more to you. So big idea number two is to own 100%. Big idea number three is small choices. Once you have accepted that your life is 100% your responsibility, you can start to commit to small, easy choices. Now, I'm talking about stuff like, I'm going to save $120 every month until the end of the year. I'm going to have dinner with my father once a month. I'm going to go to the gym twice a week for a month. These small choices really help. $120 every month for 20 years with an average interest rate compounds to over $50,000. And also, imagine how many more memories you'll have with your family members and the loved ones if you commit to seeing them at least once a month. For a lot of people, it's just around the holidays. And also imagine how much longer you will statistically be able to live if you go to the gym twice a week opposed to never. The next big idea I want to talk about is about the law of attraction and how it really works. Now, in the self-development niche, I get asked all the time about my own personal opinion opinion of the law of attraction. And most people understand it. It's kind of like, if I sit here and think about it all the time, then I'll get it. Like if I sit on the couch and think about a million dollars, then I'll get a million dollars. I'll win the lottery or something. Well, that's not true. It's not how it works. So your brain is a highly sophisticated organ that consumes billions of sensory data groups every day. And to prevent it from going insane and to make your life easier to live, it forgets a very large amount of all of that information. However, your brain will pick up on relevant things. So if you've been thinking about getting a new job, it'll pick out information that it thinks is relevant to getting a new job. For example, you might see an advertisement for a job recruitment that you would have otherwise ignored, but your brain picked it out and made you look at it. Have you ever learned a new word and you hear it four or five times the next week, even though you've never heard that word before? This is the reason why. If you want to put the law of attraction to work, or rather your brain to work for you, fill it with things that you want more of in your life. Make sure that if you're trying to lose weight, you write down your goals. You start listening to people who talk about how to lose weight, and you read books around the same topic. And because of 
this new information, your brain will remind you next time you're about to habitually eat some candy. So the law of attraction is just a little trick to help your brain make living your life and getting to your goals easier. It's not some magic thing that you can sit in your house and wish up something. You have to go and put in the work, but the law of attraction makes the work more important. The last idea is garbage in, garbage out. Another huge idea I found in this book, which actually takes up a couple of pages, is something called garbage in, garbage out. And it basically means if you're consuming negative information, you're eating low quality food, and you're hanging around toxic people, your life quality is going to suffer. It just makes sense. Instead, pick carefully what kind of information that you consume daily. Cut back time with those toxic friends and educate yourself about your diets, your macronutrients, and food quality. Remember that the compound effect will magnify what you consume over time. So 30 minutes of dramatic news each night will drastically change your thoughts. But so will 30 minutes of reading a new book. So the big idea here is to choose carefully. Also again, you can check the description links below for a free actionable summary and also a list of my top 10 books. You just go to that page, enter your email, and I'll send them right to your email. Before we end this video, I want to let you know that this video right here is a shorter version of the entire full summary within Practical Growth Academy. Now you might be wondering, what is Practical Growth Academy? Practical Growth Academy is a private mastermind group where I add animated book summaries and actionable worksheets every week so that you can better remember and apply the principles that you learn in these books. Plus, I also add monthly mini courses, journal outlines, and you get access to a premium Discord server. And if you join up today, I will send you a $20 Amazon gift card. And that's really cool because it only costs $17 a month to join, which is technically less than the price of an average book, and you can cancel anytime, which basically means your first month is free, right? Now there's a lot more that you'll get access to, including the full Psychology of Beliefs course when I finish creating it. So to learn more, click the link in the description about Practical Growth Academy. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let me know if you want shorter summaries like this one on the channel. See you in the next video.